morning. What an amazing time to be able to meet with you here as we are ending off our um, month of May. It's difficult to believe that we are already past the fifth month of this year. It's been quite hectic and quite busy, but we thank the Lord that we have come through it. And we also today conclude the series called Listening to God in a Time of Crisis. So my scripture reading comes from Acts 1 verses 8. And this is the promise that is given to us by Jesus Christ himself. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So listening to God requires us to rely on the Holy Spirit. Two Sundays ago, the sermon challenged me to reflect on the question, would I be found guilty of spending time with God on a regular basis like Daniel was? Well, it is in time of scripture reading, prayer and spending time in the presence of God, which is the most important activities of our lives. It is there where we find what God requires but also just the voice of God to say how much he cares for us. It is during this time that God gives us his Holy Spirit to lead us, to heal us, to guide us, to come and strengthen us, to convict us, and also empower us. It is in these times that we surrender to God and also acknowledge our need for God and our absolute dependence upon him. Our human nature, unfortunately, feels uncomfortable with some of these concepts. We are taught to be strong and self-sufficient. Um, we should not depend on anyone or anything, and most definitely not surrender. However, there is comfort in the way that we are invited to become vulnerable before God. Once we grasp the fact that God is all-knowing, all-seeing, all-understanding, our defences seem to be broken down and, and we come before him and bear our souls in order for us to receive this healing. It is in our healing that we will then be open to the Spirit's guidance, equipped with this knowledge that we are strengthened, especially in the knowledge that God loves us unconditionally and sent his Son to pay the price for our sins. Our barriers need to be broken down first in order for us to become stronger in Christ in that transforming process. The barriers that prevent us from, from being open to that which needs convicting, for instance, in our lives. That first needs to be removed. We need to become teachable. Being in the presence of God with the intention of listening will assist us not to defend the areas in our lives that do not glorify God, but we will be open to the conviction of the Holy Spirit, which brings, which the Holy Spirit brings for us, because we will then begin to know and to live out the plans God has for our lives. Once the cleansing process has begun, we are empowered by the Holy Spirit to go and be disciples for Jesus. We encounter Jesus in these moments, and just last week we celebrated the ascension of our Lord which when he left for heaven, he then gave us this promise of the Holy Spirit. Here he took his rightful place and he continues his work that he was preparing for us a place there where he is right now. So what are your stories of encounters with Jesus? I do not have a good memory. However, the times that I do remember is that if it was yesterday were the times where I encountered Jesus, like the time of my baptism. The decision to receive Christ as my Lord and Savior in a personal capacity and no longer depending on my parents to take me to church or remind me to pray or to read scripture is one of those wow moments that one holds on to and continues to desire. I remember how my heart was moved towards leading others to Christ at the age of 17. The times when I tangibly felt the presence of God at moments, those moments are the ones I cherish. Coming into the presence of God every time is a continuance of those experiences. 
These encounters change one, gives you new joy as, as well as peace and love for people no matter their story. This reliance on God is, however, continually required in, in order for God's mission to be accomplished through us, and not our own, for the burning desire of evangelism to take us into the world with a message from God. So we need to remember that Jesus is the rock on which the church is built. He is the center. We are the church and the church is the body of Jesus. As we gather in community by coming together, we encounter Jesus through worship, through prayer, and he speaks to us while we are reading his word. He speaks to us as a community and as individuals through all of these elements, however, we encounter Jesus through the work of the Holy Spirit directly. Nicky Gumbel has a powerful prayer which he uses in Alpha and at his leading conf leadership conferences and, and apparently at every service at his church whenever they have time of prayer. And he encourages us to use these the same prayer if we're in the community or when we're on our own. And it's a short, simple prayer that says, come Holy Spirit. It might be only three words, but has extreme power. As we continue in our week, we look around us, we look inside of ourselves and we recognize the place in our lives that we need God's power, where we need his healing and encouragement. I ask you then to take time to invite the Holy Spirit into every aspect of your life and to rely on his power. We are called to be witnesses of Christ, even in times of crisis. But it is in the times of joy and comfort that we learn how to listen to God so that we are equipped and trained to do so, even in a time of crisis. Come, let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we face this week, which is unknown, there are many things that happen in our lives that we do not plan for. We start out our morning with many things upon our mind and how we envisage our day to be. Till Lord, but then crises do arrive. Life changes at an instant. And dear Lord, these are the moments that we need to listen to you intently. So in those moments that we are in comfort or things are going quite well, dear Lord, help us to be reminded to, to practice these ways of how to listen to you, to become aware of your presence, dear Lord, to be molded and to just to be guided and healed and strengthened and empowered by your Holy Spirit. So as we start this day, we ask, come Holy Spirit, just come and be with us, come and guide and lead us, come and open scripture for us, Come and help and open our ears to hear the heart of God. Go with us into this week and we thank you that we are able to still continue to gather in this way, even if it, over, it is over a digital um, platform, dear Lord. We are able to share and we are able to pray together. Come, Holy Spirit. Come. Amen. May your week continue to be blessed and may God hold you tight in this time. Bless you all.